episode. My name is Stephen Aitchison. Oops, <laughs> just choked there. Um, on a wee bit of coffee. Um, right, we are going to be talking about the markets, the Bitcoin plummeting down, the kind of altcoins not going anywhere. Everything's going sideways just now. It's a bit of a kind of blah uh, market at the moment. So things need to kind of heat up. And this is probably reflected in the number of people watching as well. I think the number of people watching, I see the kind of YouTubers kind of going down a wee bit hill um, or downhill a wee bit. The number of YouTubers kind of reporting and doing the videos as well. And I was off yesterday. I took a day off yesterday while I was going to the doctors. Turns out I've got that Helicobacter. Um, was it Helicobacter pylori? Uh, I've got that in my stomach. They found that. But apparently kind of, there's lots of people got that. Um, millions of people around the world have got it. 30% in the adult population or something, I was told. Um, so I got treated for that with kind of antibiotics and stuff, but I was speaking to Kukla, who's in a kind of premium group, and she was saying colloidal silver is really good for that. So I've ordered that from Amazon as well, because I don't want to, I don't really want to take um, antibiotics and stuff like that. So I've ordered that colloidal silver. So thank you very much, Kukla, for that. Okay, so that's what I was doing yesterday. I was at the doctor's getting blood results. That's, um, I was doing that early dose yesterday and I just decided to take the kind of day off and I was um, writing my book. So I went to the cafe yesterday and um, continued writing my book. I think I'm up to about 13, 14,000 words. Um, and I'm doing a, a 50,000 or 40, 50,000 word book um, about beliefs. It's all about your beliefs, which is really pertinent in crypto. You need to believe in what you're doing. You need to believe that you can actually make money and um, if you don't you're not going to do it and um, simple as that so this is really pertinent in crypto as well as every other area of your life your beliefs underpin every single thing that you do so we have to it's really important and i've been wanting to write a book for i designed a cover for it about five years ago and um, but business started taking off so i never got around to the book but now i'm, I've, I'm determined to write the book this year okay so that's enough about me See who's in. Have we got anybody in? We've got a few people in just now. So I'll go over to the chat area. We have Rob Fidler is in-house, Daniel Wilson, Mike Witherford, Jason Clayden. Good to see you. Mike D, one of our Brown admins. Good to see you, buddy. Um, Pascal Amsterdam, Honest Crypto Journey is in. Um, Marcus Jafari, Tony P, Daz Hibernian is back with us. Good to see you back, mate. Um, Cal45 is in. The Hawthorns in Jambi Kariri is in as well. Welcome to you as well. Good to see you here. Okay, a quick look at the overall markets. What's been happening just now? I've not got my usual mug for the coffee, but if you could go down to the like button just now and crush the likes just now, that'd be fantastic. It would help the channel um, grow a wee bit. So we've got a market capitalization of $312 billion. Obviously the big kind of slump in the Bitcoin price overnight. Um, down to 10,930 as just now, so it's come up a wee bit. Bitcoin dominance, 62.2%. We need that to come down um, if they also are going to stand a chance of kind of another alt season. Um, is that going to happen? We don't know. So who's the winners and losers? We have Dogecoin up 22%, Komodo up 22%, Next up 19 Ren up 18%. That's four in double-digit greens. And Quant is moving up as well. Been keeping an eye on Quant as well. And there's a few others as well. Got about 25%, 20 to 25% in the green. Um, all the alts are in the, all the other alts are in the red. Metaverse ETP down 22%, Vest Chain and Made Safe Coin all double digit reds today. Um, however, if we look on the Bitcoin side of it, or oh, the Satoshi value, that's a wee bit different. We have probably about 8% in the red and 92% in the green in Satoshi value, which is a good thing, which means Bitcoin dominance is coming down and more people are buying the alts, which is a good thing. We need, I think we need this to happen. Um, Bitcoin has went up very, very quickly and it'd be good for a kind of stable run for Bitcoin just now. And a stable run, I'm talking about just kind of sideways movement just now so the alts can come up um, and there's a bit more oomph in the market. There's nothing in the markets just now. It's just sideways. It's just uh, the alts are going down. People are getting peed off. Um, but obviously there's a lot of traders kind of um, winning on this as well with kind of Bitcoin up and down. 
And it's happening very, very quickly. So a lot of people are going to get liquidated and stopped out if they're doing a margin trading as well. So yeah, the Satoshi value, um, when the Bitcoin comes down, obviously the Satoshi value, you can get more um, Satoshi or get more Bitcoin um, trading the alts. So that's always a good thing as well. Okay, we'll go to the overall markets just now. We now have 2,318 cryptocurrencies listed on CoinMarketCap. We'll who's, see who's done well over the last 24 hours. Dexter, never heard of them. Um, 3.9 million volume, up 303%. Dynamic, up 100% on half a million. Dex um, is up 78% on 4.6 million volume. Origo is up 72%. Um, Serve. Serve. We've seen this a couple of times. Serve on good volume and it's only 1 million market capitalization. I can't remember if we've looked at it before. Hero Coin, I know we've looked at that. Uh, message Kova on 5 million. So we're looking for hidden gems here. Dynamic. So Serve, this will be really slow, I would imagine. So Serve. ROI is um, minus 83% since it came on. Market cap 857, so it's under 1 million just now. Social, take a look at that. Facilitates any transaction, ordering products, ride sharing, and deliveries. Is it every person, business, and brother to buy, sell, receive, deliver pharmaceuticals, foods, rides? Okay. Share some delivery with your loved ones. Blah, blah, blah. So this is why we're looking at this, just to find some kind of hidden gems. Not to say we're going to find any, but this is a good way to do it, as good a way as any. So we can look at this for finding hidden gems, and I showed you a way to do that on Wednesday, exactly what to do. But we won't do that just now, but this is a way to find it, and just look at the market capitalization. Look at the volume as well. If it's high volume, we've got this set over 100,000. So um, my thinking is that um, if it's volume over 100,000 on a daily basis, then people know something that we might have missed, that the overall market might have missed. And this is why we look at this as well. Okay, I'll just jump back to the chat, see who else is in. We have Natasha Sakamoto is in, Debbie Clayton is in, good to see you. Gordy Boy is back with us, Vin is with us, uh, Mike Weatherford, I know you're a big fan of XRP like myself. However, I'm getting a strong feeling that Link is going to give me a bigger ROI in the short and long term. What's your thoughts on this? Somebody asked me this last week. I don't know if it was you, Mike. Somebody asked me what is the best short term. Would it be XRP or Link? Link, uh, I mentioned last week um, or the week before, said would be a better short term. However, Link's gone up. I think it's at 1.4 billion. Just now is the market capitalization. At uh, 1.2 billion. It's down to... So um, I said a couple of weeks ago that Link would be the better short-term one. And that is, I don't know if that would still be the case though, Mike. Uh, that's the only thing. Because that was a couple of weeks ago and it's since went up about 100% since I said go into Link rather than XRP. So now what we're going to get um, with Link, is there going to be a pullback with Link? We'll just have a wee look at the chart, actually. And we'll go to, I was going to show you the LTC chart, but we'll go to Link just now. So this is on the two hourly. We'll go to the daily. And it's had a massive run up already. It's had a brilliant run. So we'll go to the weekly actually. Not three days. I like the three days. So from here, we've had a 1500% run, a 15x. Uh, and it's not really pulled back that much as Link. So I'm not saying the kind of fundamentals. Uh, mean it's not going to go any higher. I'm just saying it has had a massive run-up, a 15x run-up, but it's got a lot of loyal supporters as well. More and more people are talking about it. So it could, it could actually get into the top 10 very quickly as well. What does it need to get into the top 10? Basically it needs to kind of double from here to get into the top 10. So you've got to ask your question, what's going to quicker 
Um, what's going to be quicker to double? Would it be chain link or would it be XRP? XRP could double, triple, quadruple within the space of a couple of hours. And I think that's where I am kind of with XRP just now. And I've said it's not a good trading coin. It's a, an accumulating coin just now. That says just for accumulating at the moment. Where is it just now in BTC wise on Satoshi value? 3,443 Satoshis at the moment for XRP. So um, it's kind of 50-50. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago it was Chainlink, but now it's kind of 50-50 for me, that I would say in my opinion. Um, so what is going to double first? You think it's going to be XRP or Chainlink? Uh, and I think it could be either or, to be honest. Um, but looking at the market capitalization and how big Chainlink are going to be, probably Chainlink would just win out in the end. Um, so I hope that helps. And just trying to be objective as, as I can be. Uh, Ajmal, good morning to you. John Russell asked Dave, could not get you yesterday. Was it your side or? It was my side, so I was off yesterday. Uh, I was at the doctor's um, yesterday and I was early doors at the doctor's. I think, I think the appointment was 8.50. Um, but yeah, it was just to check bloods, blood results. There's nothing bad or anything. But I've got that helicobacter pylori. So I've got that. So I have to take antibiotics. But... Um, or they've given me antibiotics, but I'm going to take colloidal silver um, instead. Lawrence Matthews is in. Good morning to you, my Mervyn Skidmore. Um, as well, Steve, is BTC is still going to hit 20,000 by the end of July. It doesn't look like it just now, to be honest, but we'll look at the charts in a second. Lawrence Matthews, a couple of hidden gems, Steve, Centivate and Etherbase. Uh, I've not seen, I've seen Centivate. Uh, I've not seen Etherbase yet, although I've seen a couple of people talking about it. Anthony Colvini is in. Good morning to you. Imran Chowdhury is back with us. Good morning, mate. Um, just got back from 4th of July. Fireworks, bit weird for a Brit. LOL. Excellent. Excellent. So I wasn't off with nothing to do with the 4th of July. Okay. Um, we will look at crypto bubbles, first of all. What's happening in the world of crypto bubbles? This is the hourly. So red, 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 all around, apart from Doge. Doge has suddenly gone up. I don't know if there's any news on Doge. Has anybody heard any news on Doge? I didn't see any. Um, so there might be some news. We'll go to Twitter. Dogecoin. Is that the official one? 7 hours ago. Today is July the 4th. An important day for many. Blah, blah. No, except to come spend your doge with us. I'm not seeing any major news. If that is the right one, yeah, it is the right one. Um. Okay, what else was it doing? Oh, that that's right. I was looking at the crypto balls. Forgot what I was doing there. Okay, so we're kind of in the red just now. It's all in the red. Nothing is really up at the moment. Over the last twenty-four hours. Again, it's red, but we've got a couple of greens there. That's net next. Uh, Ren is doing well actually over the last couple of months. Doge Komodo is up 22% today over the last 24 hours as well on Binance. Okay, I wanted to look at as well. I'm going to look. Where is it? Yeah. This is the altcoin market cap dominance, and I've got this kind of um, compared with the Bitcoin dominance. So I want you to take a, a look at this just now and we'll go to right. Okay, so this is back in 2017 when there was an altcoin rally. So big altcoin rally back in 2017 and uh, the 23rd of February. From February onwards there was a big Altcoin rally, so it went from 13%, so 13% market dominance, or um, yeah, it was a kind of market dominance, up to around about 62%, and this is when we had a big altcoin kind of season. And that lasted from February, I think, February, February March to about um, June, June time. So that was the last big, huge one. There was another mini one-ish, from 33% dominance to 67% dominance. And that was in December. This is when Bitcoin was falling, when it kind of reached its peak. 
So December, uh, Bitcoin dominance fell from 66% to 32%. So we need that to happen again for anything to happen with the altcoins. So altcoin went from 33% up to 67%. So again, we need that to happen. You can see the divergence we've got just now. This is Bitcoin dominance, and this is the dominance of um, the altcoins at the moment. 37% at the moment. And Bitcoin 62% obviously. So big divergence there. So we need this to come together. There was a coming together around about here on the 11th of August 2018. And we've had many runs as well. We've had many kind of almost uh, many runs for the, the alts. But never an alt season like the, the last two ones we've had. And that was 9th of December to round about kind of 17th of February. So that lasted a couple of months. And the first one lasted a few months as well, from February to June. So are we going to have another alt season? I think we will, but I still think Bitcoin has still got a way to go and, and reaching its all-time high. I think it's still going to reach its all-time high. So, But we'll have to keep an eye on this altcoin dominance before anything is going to happen um, with the altcoins. Because a lot of us are just kind of feeling that feeling a lot of people are dropping out as well of the markets, just thinking oh, there's no point. Um, they've tried to get into the altcoins. It's not worked for them. It's still down big time for them. Even at these kind of low prices, it's still going down. Like, for example, when XRP was 5,000, I thought it must be the bottom. Um, and then it went down to 4,000, then 3,000. Um, so a lot of people are thinking like that and just getting out of the markets and just maybe just accumulating Bitcoin possibly. Yeah, as well, is that the way to go? You've got to ask yourself that question. Is it with the way to go where you should just be accumulating Bitcoin? It could be, it could be, but in the meantime, you could be trading alts to accumulate Bitcoin as well. So this is why we have to keep an eye on this. But the good news is the altcoin dominance has gone from 36.9%. It's gone up a percentage point. So that's a start. So this is the lowest it's been in two years. If we look at the weekly. So the weekly here, we're talking about 37%. And 24th of April 2017, we had kind of it was down here as well, around about that time in 2017, uh, December. But in April 2017, that was a kind of low as well as December and now. So we need that altcoin dominance to come back up if we're going to make any money in the alts. And this is what it's all about. It's about making money, but it's about making Satoshi as well. We want our kind of Bitcoin to go up um, because obviously we believe in Bitcoin or we wouldn't be trading for Bitcoin. So it'd be good to know your thoughts on that as well. And if you're looking for me to look at any charts or anything, just shout it out in the um, kind of chat area. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Loyal Tanji is in. Good to see you, Loyal Tanji. Um, Imran, Link Smart Contract Technology isn't established at all enough to put all your eggs in one basket. Link Tech is way ahead of its time. Don't expose yourself 100%, especially at this very early stage. A sound advice there. Things can change very quickly. Don't assess a whole project on an initial pump. Yep. Um, Doge has some announcement through Binance. Ah, is that what it is? It's going to become Satoshi's pet. Hey, Debbie Clayton, I'll ping it to you in the Telegram group, Steve. Right, so Debbie, did you say something? Right, what are you going to ping? What, um, ah, right, you're going to ping the, the announcement. Right. I'm with you, I'm with you. Right, one wee second, I'll see if that's there. Let's go back to my wee ugly mush just now. Ah, right, okay, I'll check out later. I thought you were doing it just now. Cool, cool. Um, right. Um, Scottish Bull is back with us. Good to see you. Mike Weatherford, much appreciated and totally agree. Steve, what does XRP have to do for it to move? Goodness knows. Goodness knows. Is XRP going to be on the move? There? And that's the kind of question I had today as well. XRP, BTC. And we keep asking this. We should just make this mandatory. Just ask it once a month. Is XRP going to move? Because it's not moved since September 2018, literally. 
it's not really moved that much at all, I think. It went from 4,000 to about 5,500, which is not that much at all. But it's down to 3,441. I've accumulated more, I think. I've got long term, just in a long term pot, just about 8,000 or something XRP. For trading, it's different, obviously, but for long term, I've got about 8,000. Um, so, is XRP going to move? Goodness knows what's going to happen. However, I still am going to be accumulating XRP at these prices um, because I believe in it. Uh, I believe it is going to move. I believe a lot of people are going to be talking about it very, very soon. How soon that's going to be, I have not a clue. I have not a scooby of what's going to happen with it. Um, but I do believe it is going to be moving and I'll just keep on accumulating more. This is not a trader's coin. Uh, in no way is this a buy recommendation or anything, but um, just for accumulating for the future. Yes, because I think XRP is going to be widely adopted worldwide. Um, even though the banks, there's news coming out, JP Morgan obviously getting their own coin as well, and I think there's other banks coming out with their own coins um, with, their, with the CBDCs coming out, but I don't think they're near, nowhere near as advanced as XRP is and the kind of amount of partnerships they've got and the network, the underlying network that XRP have, I still believe in it. Um, even though the kind of Satoshi value is going down and down and down, I still believe this is going to pop big time soon but we need to wait and see and by pop i don't mean going up to five thousand or six thousand i'm talking about popping i'm talking about going up to twelve thousand um up past this all-time high where would that be so we'd have to pop to get to this all-time high this is on a weekly we'll go to the peak i'd have to pop 565 percent for that to happen so a five x 5.5 exa, um, which would mean it would get to about 90 or 80 or 90 billion market capitalization. I'll go to USD. Yeah, so it will overtake Ethereum. So it'll be in second place, but I do think that's coming. But that is definitely not financial advice. And I've been saying it all along. It's not, there's no, uh, no period in the last four, five, six weeks has it been a buy in price for XRP. In fact, it's been a sale since the uh, kind of 9,000 Satoshi. So if we go to the four hourly, I think it's once crossed on the four hourly, very, very briefly. And before then, 5,000. If we look on the daily, I don't think done anything it's not crossed over at all since the 18th of September and it crossed down on the 14th of January so for the last seven months it has not been a buy on the daily for the last seven months there's not been a period where it's has been a buy unless you're accumulating you're just rubbing your hands together and going oh this is going to be a beautiful kind of fireworks display when XRP pops that's my thinking. That's where I think that's going to go. Litecoin. I think Litecoin is moving. I kind of, I've just called that as well. Litecoin BTC will go. This is on the daily. And this is for Satoshi value I'm talking about here. We'll go to the four hourly. End of the last crossover. 24th of May 2019, it kind of went up to one point, nearly 1 1.8 million Satoshi. It's now down to 1.07. So I think this is going to move before the halving on the 5th of August. Um, and then after the halving, I think it's going to come back down and then go back up again. I think that's how it's going to play out. So I think we're going to get, oh, I'll just delete this. So this is the way I think it's going to play out. And we'll go to the daily. So we have the price just now. I think what's going to happen, and we're talking about Satoshi value here. I think we're going to get a steady increase to here. Then maybe a week before, we're going to get a drop. 
and Litecoin value. And it's just going to come down. And it could be quite heavy, actually. It could come back down to about $100 if we're talking in dollar value. But I think in Satoshi value, you're going to come back down, down to under $1 million Satoshi. But I do think it's going to go up before the halving. And it could go up quite quickly. It could go up even past its recent highs um, as well. Uh, I still think we're going to touch about $800 or something. But that's just my opinion. So we're at 118 just now. And what we've been at, that's 416, that's ages ago. So it's going to have to get its all-time high, but it's not that far of a stretch of the Im imagination to see it going up to about 180 before the halving. So it's still on the daily, it's still in play just now on the daily chart. It's still in play at the moment. So it could bounce off the 50 e EMA here and just go up. And I think that is what's going to happen ultimately. Okay. Um, right, this uh, Mervyn Skidmore. Need to look at that, Imran. This is capitulation for alts. It could be Binance less uh, meme crypto Dogecoin at long last. So Binance, ah, right, okay, so go to Binance. Has this been officially? Ah, right, this is what's pushing it, driving it up then. This was one hour ago. Binance will list Dogecoin and open trading. Okay, Doge listing fee details this one and blah, blah, blah. So it's going to list Dogecoin. Been asking for, well, people have been asking, shouting about this for ages and ages, and they're finally doing it. That's why Dogecoin has gone up. Yeah, it's still gone up. Excellent. Excellent. I wonder if there's any plans for that. Uh, Mike D, best way to recoup is dollar cost average on the way down with things. Yeah, I do think so, but depending on what project you're in. Uh, if it's a ship project, there's no point in doing that, but it depends on what project you're in. Um, Anthony Colvini, uh, what's your thoughts on ERD? At the moment, I wouldn't touch it. and um, There's no way I would touch ERD just now um, until I'd give it another couple of weeks because this could come down. We've got to remember that if we go to the launch pad, I'll just see how many tokens there were in total for the Binance launch pad. So there was total token supply, launch pad allocation, 5 billion, so 25%. So 25% of people that got in, or 25%, and really a lot of the people that got in, there was 300 USD, 461. So there's still a hell of a lot of people, or 10,833 people managed to get into the lottery. So a lot of them have not sold out yet. And they've already got a 10x, a 9 or 10x just now. And if this goes up anymore, I think they're going to be selling into the market. So I would be leaving this just now. I'll be leaving it just now. For, from a trading point of view, I'll definitely be leading it just now. Um, look at the five minutes. And if you're going to trade it, I wouldn't look at the five minutes. I'll probably look at the 15 minute. If you're going to trade it, look at the 15 minute chart and wait in the 70 EMA crossing over the 50 EMA if you're going to trade it that way. But be prepared to get out quick because it could uh, rise and fall very quickly. But there's no way I'll be touching it just now, at least for, I'd say, a week or two. Uh, and then I'll take another look at it just to say, okay, what's the state of play just now? And I think we're talking about market capitalization already of about 50 million, something like that. So no, I wouldn't be touching it just now. Revolutionists have been holding Cardano for a long time. We'll admit that the market is discouraging at the moment, but in a few years I should have big gains. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely think Cardano is going to be the ones, one of the ones that is here for the long term. Definitely here for the long term. It's got a long term goal. Um, we're talking 10 years kind of goals they've got. Charles Hoskinson has, and I think it's, it's definitely going to be one of the ones that's going to be around. That's my thinking. Same with XRP as well. XRP, Cardano, and Bitcoin. 
Johnny John Matthew buying all the dips. I'm out of Fiat and very soon alts. Don't do its thing. Uh, we'll be out of a wife as well. Not a good thing. Um, Imran Chowdhury, have you seen the, the staking calculator for Cardano? It's at about 3.7% yield annually. It's much better than a bank. Much better. Um, this is for Shelly coming out that Imran's talking about. Vin, hi Steve, what do you think about LTC before having? I just kind of talked about that just now. I think it's going to go up. I think we're still going to hit around about the $180 mark and then come back down again. Uh, G Slick, good morning to you. Um, Revolutionist Imran, yeah, around 3.7 per compound. That with an increasing ADA price uh, once the main net goes live will be huge returns. Das Hibernian Ripple in bed with IMF and central banks. XRP will be huge. Not just cross-border payments, gaming industry, smart contracts, platform, coil will use XRP as well. X Spring, so much is coming. I think so as well. I think exactly the same. Das Hibernian. Um, but a lot of people are not willing to even kind of look at it um, because of the old kind of perception of, oh, it's kind of centralised, it's in with the banks, it's in bed with the banks and stuff like that. Um, but it's not. We need to change the perception of XRP. And I think that's what the problem is just now. Um, it's a perception of XRP. Dory Fergie, holy shit, Doge really on Binance. Yeah, it is. Steve, do you have positive thoughts on 0x? Have the urge to load up more on that, but on the fence of the resources should be put some high risk, um, high reward, smaller gems. Um, 0x, I don't know too much about. I did look at it before. I do like it for the long term. And where has it been? It's been nearly a billion dollars. Just looking at, so they're still up on the social. Yeah, so I need to look at this again um, as in updates, etc., to kind of form any opinion. But I, I did like it before um, of what I was doing. But the way things are going just now, just uh, the way the things are going with the altcoins just now, um, I'd have to go over everything that I kind of previously thought because things are changing slightly just now in the old coin market. And we have to be aware of that. We have to, yeah, we just have to be aware. Um, I hold back, not forming in on Doge. Yeah. And David Schwartz, hello, almost missed, uh, almost missed the live stream. Good to have you back, David. And don't forget that looks like it's going down. Uh, Revolutionist, when Cardano's staking goes live and Aveda has $10, that would be $46,000 staking. That arrive for me at 3.5%. Wow. High point Drifter, hello to you. Does I burn in revolutions when staking takes place? End of this year, August. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's round about then. They don't they don't have a definitive date yet for staking or for Shelley being full mode. CB Norwood is in. Good to see you here. What's happening with Metamorph? They've got version two out just now. I'm going to have to have a look at it. Um, I looked at it the other day, but it didn't work for some reason. Maybe I'm. I just need to kind of dig into more. I only spent five minutes on it or something. Thought, okay, because I'm going to do a video on it. So Metamorph, where are they just now? M-E-T-M. Oh, that's a weekly. Right, what's going on? I'm going to have to refresh this. What's going on? Ah, I've got a BTC dominance comparing with. 70 is Satoshi. Yeah, it was up 121. It's come down a wee bit. So I think it's a marketing and marketing plan. I still have high hopes for Metamore. But we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. Basically now, all the kind of coins I've had in the past, uh, I'm now just saying to myself, okay, they're probably um, dead coins. Um, just in my mind, I'm just, uh, I'm not going to, so I'm not going to be disappointed if it goes to zero. And I'm not saying Metamorph is, because I've still got high hopes for it. But all the other ones that I had um, before as well, like XTRD, um, we also have EXRN. There's a load of them kind of bought as well. I just think they're going to go to, Kind of zero. I'm just going to say they've already went to zero in my head. 
But Metamorph I still got high hopes for. I think it's going to be a good exchange um, when they get more on board uh, or onboard more users. And I think that's what it's about. If they don't, then that's that's not going to be any good if they don't get more users. So they need to do more of the marketing now. Um, and that was um, from uh, Nasir Patel. She's like, I'm feeling a massive Dogecoin whale going to be um, doing a big dump in Splash soon. Yeah. Imran, Steve, could you give a few words to the community about taking care of the mental and physical health through this journey of crypto? Many people are very, um, living very unhealthy lives. Um, same relationships and family ties and all in the pursuit of profits. I think that would be a separate video. That would be a good separate video to kind of think about. Because I've noticed myself, I've noticed what I've done in crypto. Since I've been in crypto, I've noticed that my concentration levels are much poorer. So my, and you might think, well, what's that got to do with crypto? It's because you, if you're checking the charts, and um, like I'm doing for the job, um, I'm checking the charts every kind of couple of minutes or something, checking my portfolio, can't focus on the kind of one thing at the same same time. Like I used to, I've had super concentration powers. Um, but now that's kind of diminishing. I've noticed that. So it was good to get to the cafe yesterday to write a book. So I was, I was kind of writing the book for a couple of hours. So I was doing that um, yesterday. And it was good just to get that focus back, that um, that concentration level back. So what I'm doing with crypto, I'm taking about four to five hours away, just not looking at charts at all and doing kind of other things for the business as well, but just not purposefully kind of walking away from the markets because it does... Um, Kind of diminish your concentrated powers, but not only that, obviously, it's um, it makes you kind of on edge. It's like taking some kind of drug or something, it makes you kind of on edge. And even when you're trying to relax, you're thinking about crypto as well. So it's good to take time away. And this is a good time to get into the likes of meditation and stuff like that. I spoke about this before. And um, so you're not on edge all the time if you're an active trader, if you're an active trader. And this is probably why I've got, but it's not just kind of general stress. I'm going to say kind of ulcers, stomach ulcers and that. But that'll be general stress just with business and kind of everything that's going on as well. So yeah, I think that is real important. I think it's would be important to do a video on that as well. Sometimes it's actually a good thing to step away, get some fresh air, go for a hike, do something different to clear the mind and come back fresh with a better perspective on your trade and don't force it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But it can be hard to tear yourself away from the computer because you think, oh, something might happen with whatever con you're in just now. Or if you've just made a trade and you don't want to go, um, you don't want to go out, you just want to keep an eye on it. And it's not a good thing to do. So it is good to definitely get out. And that's what I've done kind of yesterday as well. It's good. Take the E out of motion and go with motion. Yes. Revolutious. Have you seen the uh, Ellie Power Wallet? It looks nice. Haven't seen that. Uh, buy a trading bot, that way I can lose money when I sleep as well. <laughs> Does I burn any thoughts on made safe? Scottish, I believe, tried to make a decentralized internet, I think. Uh, I don't have any thoughts on it, if I'm being really honest, Does I burn I don't have any, I've not looked into it deep enough, so I can't really say. Um, I was going to look at a couple of, what was I going to look at? A couple of news stories. Yeah, vocal crypto hater Peter Schiff admits he owns Bitcoin. So right after accusing Bitcoin bulls of inventing a fake golden asteroid story, Peter Schiff accepts um, Bitcoin from Anthony Pompliano. So Peter Schiff, CEO of Euro, you know Peter Schiff, we spoke about him in the past as well, he's just a, a Bitcoin hater, he recently made a stunning revelation that he does own some Bitcoin despite his harsh criticism of the world's largest cryptocurrency. According to Schiff, his Bitcoin holdings are rather meagre, but there is actually no way to prove it. Um... Pompliano, the vocal Bitcoin hater, recently admitted that he actually does own some Bitcoin, never listen to what they say, always watch what they do with their money. Uh, I like Anthony Pompliano as well on Twitter. So Peter Schiff, I own about $100 worth. There was a gift. What's your BTC wallet address? I'll send you $100 more of Bitcoin. So it's not. I don't think he's actually given that yet. Um, what was this one? Yeah, massive crypto whale moves 15,000 BTC worth 176 million. Um, and this is the whale alert. If you don't um, subscribe to whale alert, it's always good to look at that. 
transfer from unknown wallet to unknown wallet. So 15,000 BTC. Is this why BTC has gone down? So at the moment, Bitcoin is down to 10,935 10, at the moment. So it's fallen a massive, kind of massive amount. And 13,866 all the way down to 9,643. But recently, it was at 12,000. It's fell $1,200 to 10,800. I'll go to the daily chart. It's still following this support line. So we'll have to change this. So this was on the 28th of March. Oh no, 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 no. Talk about this one. In fact, it was basically the same, 28th of March one. So when somebody asked earlier on, when could we expect $20,000 Bitcoin? Now with this kind of trajectory, it's um, September 2019. But obviously this can change very quickly if Bitcoin goes up. Yeah, it's from 9th of June. It's slightly higher here. So going by this trajectory, we're talking about September for, and it was, you've seen the trajectory before a couple of weeks ago, it was on course for the 1st of July 20,000. But obviously that slowed right down, came right down as well. So if we can get a, if we can get a kind of rise up in Bitcoin and a steady rise up, obviously the alts um, could come up as well with that. And we're starting to kind of see that. But because Bitcoin is so volatile just now, it's hard hard to kind of play the alts just now. Which is why in the premium group, I've hardly made any calls with regards to the alts. And they have to be kind of good calls before I make them. And the last one was Litecoin. I don't know where that is going to go, but... Hopefully we're going to get higher for Litecoin BTC pairing. Um, so 1.08 million just now. And it did jump up to about 1. Point, nearly 1.1 um, 1 million. Satoshi value. Um, who else is here? John Russell, you need some CBD, Steve. I've never tried that yet. Tried the real stuff in the past, but not CBD oil. Uh, I know you're quite bullish on exchange tokens. Think Next Nash is going to be a good one, especially as it's not in any decent exchanges as yet. Yeah, I do think that's going to be a good one. I think it's going to be a big one. I think it's on a 40-odd million market cap just now. So it could be a really good one. And that's one of the ones I tried to get in the ICO. Oh, it's 95 million market cap. So it's lower than that. Yeah, I do think that could be a good one. Um, so I'm bullish on Nash Exchange. I'm also still bullish on um, KuCoin Exchange as well. I think they've um, gone down a wee bit though. 127 million it is just now. So $1.42 was at $1.60. But I'm still bullish on KuCoin shares as well. So maybe an opportunity to top up on that. Uh, starting some 250 mil under the tongue will help concentration and sleep. Cheers, John. You never know where to, um, where to get the good stuff, though, because some of us are a lot of crap. So I've read, anyway. <laughs> 250 of Coke. Uh, no, I don't think so. All coins like XRP, EOS, XLM, BSB, and many others in top 20 will drastically underperform Bitcoin in this bull run unless they make a major real-world breakthrough. Yeah, well, I think XRP's there. I think XRP are getting there, are close to getting there. EOS, XLM, BSV, no, BSV definitely not. I just don't like BSV at all. Um, hundreds of altcoins will disappear completely. Yes, that's what I've been saying for ages. So and this could be the start of the altcoin purge as well. Or well, I think we've actually started to see the altcoin purge um, kind of happening just now. Shifts Kids bought the BTC. Um, that's the news story we've just covered just now. Traders will use a growing Litecoin, a Bitcoin derivatives market to find huge gains instead of alts. Yeah, that's the way, that's what I was talking about the other day as well, about just trading, and we kind of had a discussion about this in the premium group. You could just trade kind of Bitcoin and just trade on a 15-minute chart and still make a lot of money instead of trying to kind of do the alts. So if you kind of traded Bitcoin, say, on the 15-minute chart alone, you could have got in 
and this is going long at 11,266. And if you just use the 15 minute to get out as well, i.e. the 7 EMA going down over the 50 EMA, you could have got down out at 11,711, which would represent a gain of 3.89%. However, if you're kind of margin trading as well, and say your 10x margin trading, just go, you don't go the full 100x, that's just crazy stuff. But if you went 10x, that's a 38% gain. For 10, obviously minus the trader's fees, so you do a say 30% gain or something like that. And then if you went short on it, you could have went short around about here, 11,800. And you could have been up 8%, 10x again, say 80%. So if that's all you did as well, and a lot of people are seeing that because people, most people, if we're being honest, are trading the alts to get more Bitcoin. That's really what they're for. They're just trading coins. So a lot of these are going to disappear. And I think the newer ones coming out will help to get rid of the older ones. The ones that have just no product just now. They've no hope. They've no teams. They've only got one man development team. Or so they're just going to disappear. And rightly so as well. They were just kind of floating on an idea and they've got millions of dollars on an idea. They've had their day. It's time for them to kind of go away now. So I think that is could happen and I hope we're going to have a kind of footsie kind of thing. Uh, whatever you have in your country will be different for kind of your country. But over here we've got footsie 100, footsie 250, then a footsie small cap, small cap market. I think we're going to have something similar um, to that um, as well. And that's the way it should be. We shouldn't have, we've got literally about five or 6,000 cryptocurrencies. They're just shit coins, basically. Um, but if we can make some money off them, that's what we're doing just now. Um, every time Bitcoin falls, surprisingly, they're also not getting the pump. Seems everyone is selling into Tether and not into alts. No, I think they also gone up. I think you can see that really clearly if you kind of look at the likes of, well, XRP, obviously, I'm looking at that. Every time Bitcoin falls, XRP shoots up. Uh, it's an inverse correlation, a direct inverse correlation to what Bitcoin's doing. Um, XRP does as well. Hopefully, that'll break away, but I don't think it will. B is in-house. Good morning to you. Um, does Hibernian, how did you discover crypto? Have you been in long? Yes, June 2017 was when I got in. Yep, it was June 2000. Was it June 2000 or 2016? It was, sorry. Jeez, it's been 2000. It's three years since I got. Was it? Yeah, June 2016, I think it was, when I sold one of my websites. I need to find out when I sold the website. God, I can't remember now. Uh, guided Mind had a, a website um, for guided meditations and that's where I made up a lot of the money but instead of I sold part of the website I didn't own it I just done the guided meditations for it and instead of receiving $20,000 for it I asked for it in Bitcoin and they gave me 8 Bitcoin um, took money out um, and left money in so I started off with $20,000 and traded all the way up to $500,000 lost bloody most of it taking about $50,000 out and I've still got about Thirty odd thousand dollars in skin in the game just now. So I've done not bad if we think about it kind of long term. If we think about it from a bank's point of view, if I just put that money in the bank or put it into a pension pot or something like that. So I have done well from that point of view. But I think, yeah, that's when I got in. I think it was 2016 when I sold it. Yeah, because I've seen the 2017. But it might, no, it might be two years. It might be in June 2017. Because I've seen the bull run up in. December 2017, it came down in 2018 and seen the other alt season build run in April 2008. So it must have been 2017. So <laughs> I was a bit convoluted, Daz Hibernian, but I got there in the end. Um, got it, boys. Steve, what was that you said about an alternative to antibiotics? Um, colloidal silver. Um, colloidal silver. And it was Kukla that put me onto this. So I've just put that into the chat area just now. Imran, Bitcoin derivatives will give traders their thrills instead of alts. Yeah, it could well be. John Russell, Hempura. Let me check that out. Thanks for that, John. Um, go to boy, why brush and Dale? Um, just like times like this, it's good to pick up a dumbbell and pump some weights. Yes, that would be good as well. 
Um, Imran, some altcoins will absolutely outperform Bitcoin this bull run, but will be hyper focused on quality projects. Traders are putting money into high quality projects like BNB and Chain. Like, yeah, definitely that's what I'm saying. And um, we're getting much, much wiser. So when we first came into the market, we didn't really know about kind of blockchain, the kind of projects, what they were doing, and didn't know how to kind of research it. Now we're much more wiser. And people coming into the space are much more wiser as well. This is why the crap projects are just going to disappear. Uh, Mike D uh, might be onto something there, Steve, with the 10x margin trading on a 15-minute chart. Maybe use a Renko for it as well. I still like the Renko charts. I don't know. I've not spoken about the Renkos for a while. But if we look at the Renkos, basically with the Renko charts, uh, what you're doing, you can get in on the first. So this, these are called blocks. Uh, I'm just going to see what size the blocks are. You could change this actually for Bitcoin. Uh, so you go to settings. So for Bitcoin just alone, you can change. Uh, uh, that's $5, I think it is. You can change it to, that's 10%. We're going to change it. What is it just now? 10, 964. It's in three, so it should be a lot smaller than that. I just can't remember how to change it. On Bitcoin, I've not used it for a while trading. Nope. Where the hell is it? All right, so it's the ATR, so it's traditional. And we're going to go to $10 per Bitcoin. I knew it was there. So each block should represent $10. I'll just check that. 10960, 10970 it is. So each block should represent $10. And what you do, and this is just for Bitcoin, it changes with all the other alts. What you do for the first block, when you see the first green block, that's when you get in. So on here, you'd have got in here and you get out in the first red block or the second red block, or you can get in the second green block just for confirmation and get out on the first red block. So if you got in here at 10,858, you'd have got out at 10,949 for a 0.83% gain. And this is on a 15 minute chart. Now you can go to a longer chart time frame, say the hourly even. And you can see here, I'll just give you some examples. You could have went short here, 11,600 and got out on the first green with 3.73%. Um, if you're 10x in margin, um, you've got 37%. So you could do it on the Renko as well. I still like the Renko. Um, here you could have gone 11,197 and out for a 6% gain, which would have been 60%. Take away the fees, uh, obviously. So the Renko could be really good as well for trading. And it's just a simple system. It takes the emotion out of trading. You're not watching the price. Um, and it's not time-based. Each block is not time-based. It's just price-based. So these blocks represent $10 each. So yeah, I still like the Renko. And I know there's a couple of people in the premium group still use the Renko as well to, to great effect. Benton Taylor is in. Hi to you. B never put money in a bank. Always under the floorboards. <laughs> Immortal Wombat is in. Quant, Quant actually I was looking at over the last couple of days. It does look okay. Quant, and I think it could be big. I think it's only 83 million uh, market cap or just, just under 90 million. Quant, but it's getting a lot of attention just now. And should you put money into it, it's going up kind of every day. And I think it's at its all time high. Or near its all time. No, it's not at its all time high yet. But in terms of market cap, it is. So Quant could be a big one as well. B check Cypress bail Bailings is still 10% citizens money. Uh, Christy, first website I checked said that silver stuff isn't safe. God the boy. Ah, right, so I've read the uh, other reviews then. So it's obviously a bias there. So let me know the website. Yes, I've been thinking about joining premium. Is it one-off yearly payment? Is it a, a monthly option? Also, what side is best to trade as not to get destroyed on fees? Coinbase Pro. Uh, I would say Binance. We usually kind of trade on Binance. Um, you're from the UK, so you should be okay. But we don't know what's going to happen with Binance with regards to trading when the US citizens go off in September. I still think there's going to, there's going to be some kind of turnaround for that, but I don't know why. I don't know. There's no evidence of that. 
Um, but KuCoin might be the next one that a lot of people go to as well. Or Nash um, could be a good one as well. So it just depends what one's going to become the dominant one. Binance is certainly going to go downhill a wee bit. Um, I would say, I still think it's brilliant for the long term. But because the US investors are pulling out, are going to have to pull out in September. Um, we're going to have to wait on the dynamics of that changing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to bring out that at the end of July. Uh, I've not really spoke about it at the end of July. Uh, I'm going to be bringing, about the, um, bringing out the crypto premium. And it's going to be a one-off yearly payment. Or you can do 10 payments of $79 um, for the year. Uh, for 10 payments, um, which you'll get. And that'll cover you for the year. So that's how we're going to play it. So it could be a one-off payment of 697 or $79, um, 10 payments off. Or if you're in the kind of free group, if you join the free Telegram group down below, um, we'll, we'll give you a discount as well a week before it if you want to join. So if you join the free Telegram group, link down below, that would be good if you could do that. Um, God, I think I'm going to stake my Cardano and watch it grow in price at the same time, smoke a cigar. I think a lot of people are going to do that. Just buy Bitcoin or buy XRP or buy Cardano or buy Litecoin or Ethereum. And they're just going to watch it grow. Although I don't think that's a bet. You still have to keep an eye on it. Unless it's Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin's always going to be there. Binance is the cheapest for trading. Coinbase is a fortune. It is. It's an absolute fortune. Unless you're going into Coinbase Pro. So you can go into Coinbase Pro, but it depends how you put money into Coinbase to trade on that. Um, John Russell, is that the blue one and grey one? That's a private conversation. Uh, we'll do it. Uh, handy if you want your face and shirt to match. Right, um, so I'm missing a conversation here. Okay, I think that's it for today. I'll just check on the Bitcoin price. Just now we'll go back. 10,923. So again, just keep an eye on the 15 minute chart to see when this is going to go back up. If you're looking to trade this and if you're looking to kind of get back into or out of vaults. So the way to kind of get out of vaults and know when to get out of vaults is when the kind of Bitcoin price is rising. There's a direct inverse correlation um, between the alts and Bitcoin. At the moment, this could change at any time. So keep an eye on the Bitcoin price when you're trading alts as well. If Bitcoin price is going up, it's likely that they're also going to come down. Um, but not all of them. Not all of them are going to follow that rule. Seller is moving back up. This is just some of the ones we're looking at. This is on a 15 minute. I want to go into four hour. So seller has come back up in the four hours, so I'd call that probably. TNT, I still like TNT as well. That's um, I was just looking at that this morning again. I think it could be grow bigger. MFT, not so sure about. CDT. Matic. Matic is up to 173. That was down to about 153, I think. 147 it got down to. So I think Matic's going to start... To go as well. You're going to see the um, Binance IEOs moving. Uh, is what you're seeing just now. So I would imagine one will be up there. Fetch will be up there. Yes, yeah, and the start to move as well. Where is one? One BTC start to move as well. And crypto currency. Elrond, what is that doing? Fifty-seven. Just now we looked at that earlier on. And I'll have to look at the kind of 15 minute chart for that. So if you're looking to trade Elrond, I'll uh, look at the 15 minute chart because it's such a, a new one on Binance. Look at the 15 minute chart. Um, but I would trade the others. Matic, Seller, One, Fetch. Not so much BTT. But yeah, I'll do them just now. I'll look at them. Thanks to you for your time. And as always, Namaste. You as well, Donny Don. Thank you very much. And John Russell, many thanks again, Steve. Have a great day. And the folks, you as well, John. Thank you for joining me. Cheers, Steve, and all crypto guys. G Slick, Namaste, be safe all. Merv says back to 12k plus Sunday. That'll be good. And not so much for the alts. Okay, have a brilliant weekend for what you're doing. And until Monday, Namaste. Take care. Bye now. Here's to the crazy ones the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. 
about the only thing you can't do is ignore them. Because they change things. They push the human race forward. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them. About the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules.